Hello everyone, welcome back to Trev Dog Gaming here on YouTube. This is the game Scum, and we are now season three, and episode twenty-three. Well, some things happened overnight. Um, I've have gone through a complete night of Scum, uh, ransacking some more buildings, but not all of them. So this episode's to try to, I guess, scavenge around the last few buildings that I haven't been to, but. Two things. One, I managed to make another couple of chests here, and I kind of, um, I don't know, I guess I sort of, you know, coordinated all the little bits and pieces that I think I'm just going to take to the trader. So, more or less, all this gear that you see in this chest that's marked the trader has to kind of fit in my hiking bag. And then we'll take it to the trader and see if we can get some dough back. However, um, I started putting food into this one. Um, in where I'm standing, I guess, uh, in this direction, uh, the police station's here, so in this direction there's a little house, at the back of it is a potato field, so a little tiny potato field, so I picked up some potatoes and I picked up some snow from outside, um, but guess what I got working? This was pretty cool, I actually found a grill, and then I remember there was a pot in one of the houses down here, so I went and eventually I found it. You just put the pot um, on top of the grill, and the grill is on top of the fire, and then you can cook stuff. So I just want to give you an example. This this is something I did do. So, um, and I don't know how um, I guess common these little tea packs are, but look, if I have a tea pack on me, which is like whatever that is, I can't even read the really small writing, but it might be like you know, say it's 19 out of 20 or something like that, or it could be 25. But yeah, you, you get several uses from it, sort of thing. But as long as you've got a, a little tiny water bottle, hang on, I'll drag it up. Don't forget, I've got water in this lime soda um, bottle, um, which, which means you need to keep those. If you see them out in the wild, just you need to grab them and, and keep them, I think. It's a good idea. Because what happens is, because I've got these two in my inventory, right, if I go F to cook, now he's overheating, I can click on the pot, then go to drinks, and I can choose these two at the moment. Th these are my only recipes, and I think these are the other default ones. I happen to mark this as a favourite, I think. I was testing stuff, but... Um, there's all these slots at the top here, and up, I if you can see, there's a little green arrow above tea pack, one above water, and then there's a blue one above the other two. That's actually, I think, uh, sugar and lemon, or a lime. So the blue ones are optional, but these ones you have to have when you have the right equipment in there this little icon on the far right um, goes white and you can click on it to cook right so if I drag the tea bag box over there and then I drag the water over there see how it goes white if I click on it it then starts to cook and it's you know for me just over four minutes just, well you know it's a lot quicker it's not really four minutes in real life kind of thing but yeah that basically has I think I can fill with lime soda so the fresh water that I gathered from the lake I can just refill it back up again where does it go though? did it go on the floor or did it go back into my inventory? it's probably on the floor somewhere, oh no it's in my hand, okay so I can now just put my well, if I get out of that menu, I can. Hang on. Get out of there. Back to inventory. Put my water bottle back where it was. And I can. Oh, did that stop cooking? Because it ran out of... Ah, man. I'm not going to fuel it with cash. <laughs> Jeez. Hang on, hang on. Let me just grab... I think it probably only needs one. Actually, the funny thing is, I can actually still hear it bubbling. Fuel a small wooden log. Don't know whether it asks, whether it allows you to... Oh, it doesn't. Okay. Hang on. And, of course, it wants me to light the fire. So, I've got to have a lighter on me. So, light the fire again. We'll go back to the pot. I wonder if it just continues. Oh, there you go. It does just continue. Okay. Let's put that back in there. Uh, which one did I had had all the food? That one. Put my teapot back, and now, 
because I'm under the cooking tab, it's still going, still cooking. When it gets very close to the end, you can just grab it. So it's going green now. I think you can grab it anywhere around here. But just when it gets to the end, uh, you can just, it's finished. So this one's a little bit different though. You just, yeah, that's it. So you've got to stop it from cooking, that's right. I thought you could just grab it straight off, but no. Um, so it's in my hands at the moment, this little cup. So if I go back to inventory, it's sitting down here. I don't know where the cup comes from, but anyway. So now, um, I can check the taste. I think it just says... Oh, it thinks it's overcooked, but it's scorching. I don't think it really matters. If I go drink... I mean, it's only a few seconds over. I don't think it's a big deal. <laughs> the funny thing is, hey, in real life, if you can you actually overcook green tea? <laughs> I don't think my wife thinks that. Just, yeah, she loves it really hot, so it's like, I don't think you can really overcook it, but I think it's a default setting, I think. I think that's what it is. Anyhow, it works. It works. So, yeah, so basically... Now I'll have a lot of water. You can see the amount of water in the in the tea. Um, and the other thing, I'll show you quickly. Uh, hang on, we'll do the same thing again. This is, if I just grab one potato. No, actually, I'll grab two potatoes. Hang on, I'll show you why. So I've got two potatoes in here. And this time on the grill, barbecue grill, grilled meat and vegetables. So I don't really have any other recipes, really. Um... The grilled veggie, if I click on that, um, see how all these other ones are blue. The only thing you really need is the veggie. So if I grab a potato and I put it in there and I start cooking, when when it's finished, it's only it's half the time the tea takes, but if you look at the normal potato, an uncooked potato, it kind of gives you those stats there about energy, protein, carbs, the fats and water. I was comparing it to when this thing is cooked, I'm not sure what percentage increase it is, but it's obviously better than just the raw potato. So it makes a bit of sense that you could cook up a few of these and have some. I'm not you, you can't you know, obviously keep them indefinitely, I suppose. But so there you go. So I should be able to grab that, and that will be in my hand. So if I close that, if I bring these side by oops, side by side, like this. So energy is one is it one seventy nine there, then it's one eighty two, the protein is seven point seven, jumps to seven point eight, the carbs is what's so it's hard so hard to read the smaller numbers, but thirty six or thirty eight, must be thirty six, then it jumps to thirty seven. So there's like this small increase. Um so yeah, I reckon even before I go out, if I was basically oh jeez, okay guy, stand over here in the corner away from the fire. So if I eat that... So the majority of the food looks like it's water, even in the veggie. Yeah, there you go. See, there's a little bit of orange there. So he's got, he's got some energy, some food, but the rest of it's water. So I'm starting to think, yeah, this is the way to go. But the problem is, when you first start, you really need to find the grill and you need to find a pot. Um, and this is just the start of it. I mean, I did find a cooking book on pasta. And so if I use that and go to the, uh, you know, the grill there, it'll open up more options for pasta. But yeah, I, th I think we really need to sort of have that portable fridge and um, the generator and, you know, the fuel that's needed to run everything. So yeah, there's a lot, there's a lot still to go through, I suppose from the cooking side of things, but that's what I think you need to do. You start off really basic and you start to build up this um, list of different foods and drinks that you can uh, make and consume, I suppose. Hmm, very interesting. Anyhow, um, yeah, so we need to go... Um, now, there's a good chance the zombies or puppets are going to show up here. But the funny thing was, last night I ran all the way back here with the grill in my hand. So there's probably a puppet here somewhere. Uh, from way down the back here. 
So I almost went the whole length. So along here, I did a fair few of the houses, but not all of them. So I'll see if I can get down here without running into too many puppets. Keeping my eyes open here. Hang on a second. Oh, he wants to pee. Hang on. Is this building occupied? Probably is. There it is. Anyone upstairs? Fine. Oh, actually, hang on a second. Does he wanna... Oh, I can only pee, I can't do both. Okay, fine. Um, yeah, did you just see that? There was a red car there, that... Oh, I'm trying to remember, was that the red car I saw before? Where did I see the red car before? You know, the one that had the engine in it. Oh, well, look, I'm not sure whether I've actually ransacked this house before, but we'll have a quick look. What's he got? Nothing, really. Let's see, have I been in here before? I have. Alright. <coughs> Yeah, I have, definitely have. Back out to the shotgun again. Um, so, probably the most important thing I need at the moment um, is a car jack. I can't remember whether this is the... Um, the one I thought I looked at had two wheels missing. This one does, I Oh no, this has got... this must be a different car. Hang on, or is it? No, this might be it, because it's missing the battery, it's got the engine. I didn't realise it's got no door on the back there and a missing rear door. No, this must have been it. Hmm, I kind of forgot where I saw it, but yeah, no, I think that is it. Alright, well, continue. Did I go into... I don't think I went into this building. So I've got this building and a few more down here to do, I think. You're yeah, like, what's the chances of finding a... Oh, I suppose a carjack could be anywhere, couldn't it? Yeah, there's a person in there. I think there's a lady in here. Saying good morning to her. Hello. I think that was just her. Yes, yeah, so you don't know exactly where you're going to find a car jack. Could be anywhere. Oh, it's a guy. Sorry, sorry, dude. From a distance, you look like you were a man. No. So I've definitely not been in here before. Although that's a bit weird. Hang on, maybe I have. Except for that hat, there's nothing else. No one upstairs. I think they would have yelled out by now. So that that's what we're really after. See, I didn't... No, I must have been in here. That is pretty weird. Some stuff I can search, and other stuff it looks like I have. Oh, maybe I have. I do this one as well. Yeah, must have. Hmm. Well, I don't think I would have gone this far along the front, though. I'm pretty certain these buildings I haven't done. And I think... Yeah, I think it's that one. See that garage just there? That was my very first base ever in Scum. Yeah, it's a long time ago. Someone in the bedroom? No. Of course, I was doing this uh, last night. Oh, actually, maybe I should take a CD play when it's in good nick and see if I can sell it. Might be worth a bit. 
and even some of the screwdrivers now I'm thinking if I don't use them I might as well sell them off it's just more stuff I can sell and get money for I guess so I did that didn't I yep. nothing in there, there's no rubbish to look through see I would have thought we would have found the carjack probably in more of an industrial type building you know Oops, someone upstairs. Not anymore. Tell you what, I'm going to get shocked one day when I think that's all there is and then there's another puppet in another room. Man, ooh. Ooh, that's not a bad find, getting an extra little thing of water. Bargain. Uh, probably no. I'm probably going to regret that, you know. I probably do need to get keep a fair bit more soap. But it's like I would be here if I was with the car and I had a whole bunch of hiking bags with me. You can come and go and collect a whole bunch of stuff. Hey, that's not bad. What's my metabolism like? Gee, Wizzy almost wants to pee again. Well, at this rate, we might be able to do both at the same time. What is that? An old crappy lettuce. Probably not. Not a bad pair of jeans either, actually. Yes, I know, he wants to go again. Uh, the pyjama pants. See, maybe I should try to keep a pair of... Uh, at least one thing of the soap. Off he goes again. See, I'm doing the right thing. I'm standing in the right place. You all done? He's gonna do number twos in a sec. Yeah, he's 49%. Anyhow. Alright, well, yeah, still no carjack. So that would be the plan. If I could get the carjack... See, I could easily just go down there and collect some more water, couldn't I? Alright, after we do these couple of buildings, we might do that. See, this is the sort of building that might, um... Hello! Anyone else in here? I can't remember if I've ever seen more than one, but... Yeah, you, you kind of think you're safe just by searching the person and then, you know, they'll be beating on you while you're trying to search and you're busy trying to escape. Get out of it. Uh, this would be the absolute ideal location, I think, to find a carjack. It's more likely, I think. Fireman's helmet? I wonder if that's worth fixing and taking to the trader, maybe. Hard to tell, hey? Another bolt for later, I suppose. Yeah, see, sometimes there's a filing cabinet just there. Come on, show me a jack. Not the lead. I need the lead. Box of bolts is pretty good. See, organic fertilizer. It does go off though, but yeah, that's the stuff we should be finding for our gardens and whatnot. A lonesome nail, and that's it. Man. Uh, hang on. Did I do... See, there's another similar building. I'm th not sure if I've done that one. I think I might have. No one in the bedroom. Which means it's probably safe. What's that? A pair, oh, a pair of crocs. Might pass. Ooh! Oh, that's pretty cool. <laughs> you find a needle and a thread together. Just make another one of them. Oh, there's a carrot. I can eat that. Now, hang on a second. Isn't that the one you can use with rags to make them disinf disinfect the rags? I think it is. Um, hmm. I think that's a really good find, actually, if that's what it is. I'm pretty certain that's the case. 
I mean, I've got isopropyl alcohol, but th I think that's the next best thing. I have a feeling I have been through here, but... Because we're looking for the carjack. This is another similar building. Is there someone on the floor in here? Not on this side, but there might be around the back here. There is! Hello! I think there's somebody in the building next door too. It almost sounds like they're here, right here. Uh, no. Yeah, see, I've been through here. Damn it! So all this stuff. Yeah, I've searched through all this stuff before. Going by the footsteps, sounds like they're in the building next door. Well, you know what? They can stay in the building next door. Yeah, I did come down. I looked through there. I think... Yeah, because I remember I actually I owned this little garage, so to speak, and then I built some timber walls around it to make it a little bit more secure. So I think I came in here. Yeah, I did. That's right, because I remember leaving that behind, actually. <laughs> I don't think I went into this building, though. So this is probably our last chance to... For it looks like it's going to rain on us. What have we got? Oh! Oh, I don't mind that. There's a bit of extra food for you. Wasn't expecting to see that. Happy to take that. Alright, let's see. Anyone just here? That door's closed. There could be still a guy in here, though. There is. Who's been dealt with. So this is it. Please game, give me a carjack. That would be fantastic. Oh, I have been in here. Have I? Really? I can't remember coming in here. Oh, damn it. Well, that's about it then. I don't think there's any other place I can... I can search. Oh, that's right, there was a wrench. Yeah, I have been in here. I remember the wrench now. Mind you, I did do all this at night. Is a crappy CD player. Oh dear. Oh, and my NVG last night ran out. Yeah, disappointing. Now, there could be one or two buildings right along this front edge here that I haven't done. In fact, I'm pretty certain that is the case, but I'm going to go down here and fill up my water bottles. Actually, being out in the open like this is not the safest place to do this, but I think he needed to get... Oh, he still hasn't... No, I was waiting for his uh, number twos to be ready to fire off, and nope, not yet. See, I don't know, from here I can't see a way to walk across the water to the trader. There was one going towards the dam wall, remember? That's what we did an episode or two ago. The actual landscape and the map in Scum is pretty nice. And it is very realistic, I must say. Now, where can I go without getting too wet? Can I... Yeah, fill lime soda. Fill water bottle. And then drink. See, I think that's the other thing. Um, I think if you had a bunch of water bottles... Um... You would just come down, fill them all up, and then just stash them wherever you've built your little cooking area, I think. Yeah, that kind of makes sense, doesn't it? Because every time you want to drink some tea, you're going to use half a litre of water. So maybe, you know, you build um, a chest that you just fill up all your water bottles and just store them away. But Scum does let you... you can use anything. I mean, it doesn't sound good, but, you know, you, if you had plenty of fuel containers, you could use a spare fuel container and put 20 litres of water in it. In fact, that's probably the better way of doing it. 
more efficient way of storing a lot of water. Just don't drink the gasoline, of course. His heart's beating out of his chest at the moment. Just trying to think which one would I have not entered. Gotta be one along here somewhere. What's his metabolism? Still 49. Waiting for his colon to go above 50 so I can do number 2, but yeah, he's taking his time. Uh, yeah, I've got a feeling I may not have done some of these. There's probably someone in here. Sorry. Oh yeah, I can, I can hear someone coming. Somebody's outside to say hello to us. Old lighter. Oh, there's a really good quality watering can. I'm going to take that. Hello. I'm here. Come around and say hello. Oh, I didn't make the... Hang on. Craft the... Um, where is it? The improvised... Sewing kit. <laughs> where, where are they? There, I can hear them. Question is, are they in the snow or are they up inside a building? There you go. What's everything up to at the moment? Ninety-three per the Willy Warmer. Not too worried about the Willy Warmer. Repair. Sexy jeans, that all gloves. I'm not gonna drop anything out of something, am I? No. How did that get wet? It's a bit confusing. Ninety-eight. Yeah, dong last a bit longer. Uh, oh, there's some bag of super dung fertilizer. Uh, is it worth going up? You just, you, yeah, you just don't know. Uh, the other option is we just go to the trader, sell some stuff, and then buy ourselves a jack. Could do that. In fact, you know what? We're probably going to have to do that. <laughs> and you know what happens, Murphy's Law and all? I go to the trader, I buy the jack, and then I just find a jack. Where on earth are they? Hang on, I can hear footsteps. And that ain't me. I can hear footsteps, but they're not yelling out. Yeah, it's not going to help much. I didn't hear anyone yell from this building, but that doesn't mean there's not someone in the back here. Hello, sir! Sorry to shoot you in the back, dude, but... It's better you than me. Search. Oh, there's another one of these. Hmm. Probably move these around a little bit, but I don't think it's really going to help a lot, Trev. Oh no, it might. Hang on. Can we do the Tetrisy thing? We can. We'll end up with one missing just there, but something else we can take and sell. Hey, how about that? Do you have anything interesting on you? Scumbucks, even. Crappy rag. Little shorts. Well, there could be something interesting in here, though. Oh, see, there's another cooking pot. See, I'm not sure if there's any... I don't think there's any advantage in having two cooking pots. 65%. Uh, mm, we could risk it. What's he going to do? Just repulse, food repulsion thing going on? No. No, we were lucky. Ooh, don't mind if I do, some more tea. 
Yeah, that that's becoming pretty cool now. Uh, yeah, I can probably sell it. I'm not sure. We'll have to find out when we go to the trader how much we exactly get for all this kind of st stuff. But oh, deja vu. There's a lock. That's a lock on the floor. Yoga leggings. Yeah, I suppose I could sell it. I suppose. Diary. More f more paper. I suppose. Now, ah, oh, this is the soft drink building thing. This could be worth it. Doors closed. <laughs> Drunk on the floor. What is that? Oh, candy bob. Oh, it's food, I guess. Not that I've got an awful lot of space left, you know, Trevor. You should probably should have gone back. Well, look, I'll find out first if there's anything interesting in here. There's probably those those um, lime soda bottles. They're normally around. There is a crappy battery. Oops. Sounds like we've got a storm coming in. Oh, wow, I just thought about something. I'm going to have to be a bit careful with my shotgun shells. Gonna run out if I'm not careful. Oh, okay. It's all right. I'll take that. Uncle Pong. Oh, Uncle Pong rice. I know they kind of changed what it looked like, but that was I used to eat that a lot when I was playing the early game. It was a different looking packet, but more drinkies. There's beer. Could, could take the beer and sell it, I suppose. Any two little ones? She's a lot of beer. No, it's just a lot of beer. Ooh. Ooh, okay, thank you. Bit of extra cooking stuff, I guess. So how much space do I have left for all this, um... Oops, wrong one. The beer. Yeah, I could take it back. Maybe I should... sure exactly how much I'm going to get for it, but hey, it's better than nothing. Am I overweight there? I think I am. Can I put it in there? No, there, yes. Yeah, I'm kind of putting it in all the places where it's too heavy. Can I put... Oh, look at that. Two of them in there. So we can't go... Oh, wow. Uh, hang on a second. We'll swap that beer for this, and we'll put this down here, maybe where it's lighter. How much does that... Oh, it does weigh 500. Oh, damn it. Can we do that way? We can. Alright. I think that's about as much as we can squeeze in. Just an old cotton shirt. Where is this person making this noise, though? Quite sure where they are. All right, this I th think that little red building maybe that's about the only one I haven't looked through. Or did I? At the back of one of these buildings is where I found the potato field, which is kind of good to know. I take it I'm kind of getting rained on a bit here. But that's it. So, we've basically gone through, I think, 98% of the whole village area. So our only thing now is we might have to make a run to the trader and see if we can swap whatever we can sell for the carjack and come back. I think that's what we're going to do. Uh, Food-wise... Oh, hang on. What's, what? What happened to my pot? Can you still access the pot? Huh? What's going on there? Take the pot in my hand. Get rid of that. Now how did I 
do this before? I thought I... No, go back to inventory. There you go, you can just drag it from your hand. See how there's like two positions to put it in? Well, that's a bit weird. Where's my pots back again? Alright, stand out of the heat for a bit, dude. So there's my little tea thing again. Where was the... where did I put the pepper? Can't see where I put the pepper. Pepper must be down lower, is it? There it is. There's my pepper. Mind you, I did manage to put a few other things in here. Uh, another water bottle. Actually, I might store it next to the tea. There's a carrot. Uh, all of this stuff is just really extra food, isn't it? And there's a drinky there. Okay. Uh, I might, I might actually keep all the beer on me because I want to take it down and sell it. Okay, hang on. What room we got over here? Gee, that watering can does use up a bit of space, doesn't it? Goodness me. Um, put the extra bolts and nails in here, I guess. Uh, the extra paper. You know what, Trevor? You might want to stop collecting the paper. I think you, I think you're pretty right, dude. I guess the other question is, I might be able to take some of these down and sell. Hey, I might. Oh wow. Uh, you know what? This is the trader bin, but I might have to store some extra bits and pieces in here that I'm not taking to the trader, maybe. Um, this is just more miscellaneous stuff, I guess. I'm not selling that, not in a million years. I need that, so that. The rags can stay, lockpick can stay. So I might take down the screwdriver, the CD player, that. All this stuff is staying. That's staying. I'm taking down that. I'll try to take that. I'm going to take all that. These masks. These are the. These are the guys that I think are going to be worth a fair bit. Uh, this little bag I'll take. That one. Another one of them. Some driving gloves and whatnot. Actually, yeah, I can fit that in. I'm just trying to fit everything in. If I can take everything, that's pretty cool. That's a bit awkward, isn't it? That one. Uh, the glasses. Can I fit that in? Yes. 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 Okay. So everything in my hiking bag plus the beer, perhaps. One, two, three. Did I only have three beer? Must have. And maybe this is. There you go. Alright, what do you think? That's pretty good, I think. Alright, well, guess what? Next episode, we're going to the trader and we're going to see what we can get. So we've got our loot lined up. Um, we'll go down to the trader and then. Uh, See if we can sell it and bring back a car jack. Jeez, that's loud. Because don't forget, we've got the car battery here. We've got a little bit of fuel. Oh, where, where did we... F oh, hang on. Okay. Can you remember? I think near the police station there, one of those three garages had a wheel. Hang on. How much... Which one of these? I can put it in there. Hang on, before I go... Before I go, I'm going to leave that open. Just see if I can sneak down here. Kind of weird at the moment. It's almost like the puppets are in the buildings, but not walking around at the moment. I think it was the middle one here that had the... 
No. Is it this one? There you go. Come to me, little wheel. Can I just take that in my hands, apparently? I can. Alright, well. Because if we get the car jack, we can drive on three wheels. Uh, certainly can't drive on just two. Oops. Okay, so... Can I... There you go. Where is it? We'll just put it there. Okay. Alright, just as well I remembered, just in case. Alright, well off-camera I might cook up a little bit of food, because he's hungry again. Um, and then, yeah, next episode we'll go down and see if we can get the car jack, bring it back up and see if we can... Assemble... Oh, I still don't have enough... Oh, I wonder if I don't have enough fame points to buy a jack. You know what? I bet you I'm in that position. Ah, oh, damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Alright, well, you know what? I might have to off-camera go down and just see if that's the case. If I can get in there and do something, then that will be the next episode. Otherwise, I might have to change direction and do something else so we can get our fame points up over 400 so we can finally interact with the mechanic at the trader. I guess that's the plan. Gee, that's awfully loud. Alright people, I hope you've enjoyed the episode. Uh, we're still struggling a little bit, but I think we're kind of progressing. We're getting there. Anyway, if you've loved the episode, please go ahead and smash that like button as it really does help and support the channel. And if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, you can mega help the channel out by subscribing. Alright everyone, thanks so much. Cheers.